Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about role models. What is a role model? What do people think of role models? Why do people have role models? What does it mean to be a role model? Um, and for me, in a broader sense, a role model is a person or a certain uh, historic figure like, let's say, Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi, uh, Krishna, you name it, um, that have certain qualities um, that are being displayed and, f and people feel really inspired by those qualities. For, for example, compassion, when you're thinking about um, uh, Buddha, Jesus as well, or Jesus with um, loving kindness. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of getting it all mixed up, but, but you know what I mean. Um, and also in, in pop culture, we have certain people that we're kind of putting on pedestals, um, especially, um, you know, teenage girls or boys that aspire to be like a certain person um, in the mu music industry, for example. Um, and also later on, as adults, um, we find images or people, um, maybe even people in our close environment where we think like, wow, they are amazing and I, I want to be like them, I aspire to be like them. And what happens is that we put those people on, on pedestals and we maybe start, start worshipping them. Um, and the mechanism behind it is because we think there's something lacking in us, right? There is like this, this person up there, it's like they're like super high and I can't reach them. Like the qualities that they're representing, it's like... I, I cannot even think about having those qualities within myself because it's like so far away from who I am, I think. So there is like this, uh, this um, lack mentality um, that creates this distance between the role model and, and uh, who I am or who I think I am. The reason why I'm saying who I think I am is because we usually um, are somehow um, yeah, trapped in those belief sentences that we are not good enough, that there's something missing within us, that we can't do certain things or other people are better than I am in certain things, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but there is like this really huge opportunity to use those role models as a certain transmission tool. What I mean by transmission is that you recognize those qualities that you really, really like in that other person within yourself. And how it works is actually pretty simple. Firstly, you have to stop looking up and put them on the same eye level you have to open yourself up energetically for this transmission to happen and it's like uh, it's like really um, get going into that energy of learning or like drinking from the other person it's this feeling of whoa I want to learn from you and I want to know how you do it and I want to to milk you like in a good good way <laughs> Um, to drink from you, to drink from those qualities, your wisdom, whatever you represent for me that I really want to have and that I really want to embody and activate in myself. And activate in myself is because we already have those qualities. We haven't maybe prioritized those because they weren't as important um, as they're becoming now. Um, maybe you're entering a new phase in your life. Maybe you feel like, oh, I really need to, to, to take that jump, but somehow I'm missing certain qualities um, that I don't have 
but oh but this person wow they're doing great like how do they do that it's like oh i'm never gonna do that and instead of you know going into that direction try to open yourself up and say wow okay they can do it i can do it i want to learn from them please teach me it, and it doesn't really have to be like an active teaching thing of that the role model is coming to you and teaching you the stuff it's more of a I'm just I'm just open I'm receptive and I'm letting your energy overflow into me I'm letting your energy energy penetrate my system so that my system understands what it, what it's all about it's it's actually very simple <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> and sometimes what also can happen is that um, this person this role model is so high up there and I'm like here and I think oh I'm, not, I'm never gonna get there so and then you kind of start feeling bad about yourself right it's like oh fuck I'm I'm nothing I'm never gonna gonna get there and then you start feeling feeling really really bad about yourself but it's it's a really uncomfortable feeling as well and because you don't want to have that uncomfortable feeling you start to um, you know try to pull those people down from the pedestals you try to find faults in them you try to you know throw rotten eggs and tomatoes on them so that you stop feeling so bad about yourself um, because you're kind of confronted on a very subconscious level you're confronted with the reality of oh there is this thing there is a part that I really want to activate I don't really know how and it's really uncomfortable and I don't want this uncomfortable feeling to happen and to to be present I don't want to be con yeah confronted with it all the time so you kind of like pull them down and you know yeah, um, and again, it's, it's, it's a pity because there is such a potential uh, for us to learn from those people. Um, and to, yeah, it's not about compare. I mean, it is in a way comparison um, because you see them, you want something, you realize, oh yeah, there is something that I need to activate more. And then you do the steps in order to get there. You open yourself up for the transmission to happen. Um, and it's not happening overnight. You have to do, you know, a trial and error. And, you know, you fall, you get up. And it's a constant process of getting there. Yeah. And uh, for those people who have this feeling of, oh, yeah, I, I am a role model. I do feel like a role model sometimes. If you resonate with that, what I just said, and you feel that people throw rotten tomatoes and rotten eggs uh, to you, on you, um, try to understand the mechanics, the dynamics behind it. Try to um, stay open-hearted and compassionate towards those people because pe those people are confronted with their own fears and with their own lack mentality and the moment we we recognize those aspects in the other person we have the chance and the choice to stay remain open hearted um, and to not let any of those you know try you people trying to pull you down trying to throw things at you or whatever not to try to take it personally and to also be open and let that energy penetrate you go through you and leave you as well and whew, it's it's a training um, and um, it takes also a lot of a lot of time a lot of discipline a lot of focus and also this knowing of who you actually are that you are here to inspire other people and we all are, you know, we are all role models for each other. Um, we are here to inspire each other. There are certain people that are good at certain things. They have, they chose in this incarnation a certain path. Um, and for this path, they need certain 
tools and resources and uh, strengths and then there are p other people who need other kind of resources so it is absolutely it's nonsense to start comparing uh, uh, us with each other um, because it's like this uh, this metaphor of the fish and the monkey and the monkey uh, is able to climb the mountain or uh, the mountain the the tree uh, and the fish cannot do that so the fish is like oh, I'm so bad I can't do this, that stuff the monkey is much cooler than I am um, yeah you you know what I mean so we all come here with certain qualities strengths we can learn from another sometimes we don't need certain qualities to have because it's not on it's not our path it's not our purpose so yeah um, it's it's an invitation to get in touch also with with the essence, with the purpose, with you know, what are the parts that I want to embody within myself? Who can I use as a role model? Who can I learn from? Who can I let um, penetrate me energetically? Yeah, I hope this video helps uh, you. I hope it resonated with you, and I'm looking forward to also hearing some of your comments and feedback. Yeah, have a blessed day. Ciao.